Our aim has always been to support initiatives, using our resources not so much to reward past accomplishments or the achievements of a lifetime, but rather to promote the innovative, the project pressing to be realized. To this day, the Kerber Stiftung remains committed to this aim. We want to motivate people to share our enthusiasm and travel a road together that engages with society in order to improve it for us all. So who are these people working with the Kerber Stiftung to make a better society? Let's meet some of them. People in politics or with an interest in history. People at the cutting edge of research, socially engaged, or leading lives dedicated to music or the theater. People who have been driven from their homeland or who have adopted our human rights as their cause, like this woman. Katrin Kinzelbach is deputy director of the Global Public Policy Institute, which advocates a global policy of peace and humanity. This phone box is used by the team for confidential conversations as almost always the issues under discussion are highly sensitive. As for example, in her PhD thesis. In China, quiet diplomacy has little effect on human rights, unlike public pressure. Katrin Kinzelbach was able to show this with her research, which earned her the Kerber Stiftung's German Thesis Award, a prize for outstanding doctoral dissertations. The German Thesis Award was really my entry ticket into this circle of political decision-makers and the opportunity to present my project. It was also motivation to continue my work, leading me here to the Global Public Policy Institute, a think tank located at this interface. So I can say the award supported my work and encouraged me to continue. Katrin Kinzelbach is a typical example of our work. Of course she received an award, but our main focus is on making the results of her scientific research known to the wider public, to enhance awareness and expertise, because our remit is not just scientific excellence, but above all, relevance. The relevance of the Kerber Stiftung scientific awards is clearly shown by the Kerber European Science Prize. Whether it is researching gravitational waves from outer space or microscopy below visible light or the spatial perception of mammals, a number of Kerber European Science Prize winners have also later received the Nobel Prize. The biochemist Peter Zeberger received the Kerber European Science Prize for his research into possible vaccines against diseases such as malaria. The Kerber Stiftung does some really great things for science. One is the generously funded and internationally renowned Kerber European Science Prize, which moves cutting-edge research into the social domain. And the other is the German Thesis Award, which encourages young researchers to have confidence in their work and pursue their career ambitions. I think both of these are marvelous. Kurt Kerber's idea was very simple. To really advance scientific research, give scientists at the peak of their creativity the freedom and the means to make that crucial breakthrough. By supporting science, education, politics and culture through networking, workshops and numerous corporations in Germany and around the world, the Kerber Stiftung enables a whole range of extraordinary projects. One of them is happening in the immediate vicinity. The Kerber Resonance Labor is on stage at the Elbe Philharmonic Hall. Musician Deria Yildirim. She's bringing her art to a wider public on a world-class stage. This music has so much to tell us. I want the whole world to hear it. Growing up in Hamburg, she knows all the nuances and tensions of the interface between Turkish and German culture. Both are part of me, and I feel at home in both musical cultures. 
Together with the Ensemble Résonance, she has been working for an exchange of musical cultures. In the Kerber Résonance Labor, a new form of music is emerging with sounds from all over the world. I'm so happy the Foundation has provided this space as an alternative venue for Turkish folk music. That's exactly what is important to us. We want to encourage people to make them into initiators. We want to work with them to develop society, to change it, and not just in a social and political context, but also in education, science or culture. Director Anna Elisabeth Frick at work. She's an award winner of the Kerber Studio for Young Directors program. This up and coming talent prize is an important career marker. First off, it's a struggle to gain a foothold as a director, to get a foot in the door somehow. So it's a relief to be able to work knowing we have this award. I have won this prize and now I can approach the job with a different attitude, a more relaxed style, without that awful pressure, because now I know it's up and running. As well as startups, the Kerber Stiftung also supports professionally experienced candidates over 60. The Zugabe Prize is for people who are having a second go at setting up a company or business. A precondition is that the founder must aim to improve society, like, for example, award winner Anna Fonemann. She developed a device which monitors posture and movement for people like her daughter, who is paralyzed on one side after a stroke. The monitor sends signals on the skin and enables the user to correct their own posture. A patented invention which demonstrates that not only young people have clever ideas. I'm coming up to 70, so I'm roughly in the middle of my life and I've masses of experience. The foundation allows young people, too, to acquire experience. Working in education, the Mint Forum Hamburg promotes interest in science, mathematics, computer science and technology. For example, here at Hamburger Mint Tag, a day for science and technology. We have to build a mobile with a specific theme, with as many levels as possible, with the biggest number of attachments, and we only have 30 minutes. Learning by discovery was also the idea of the founder when he and Gustav Heinemann established the Federal President's History Competition, the most important history competition for young people in Germany. Some 50 years later, Lara Mia Padmanaban is one of the winners of the competition in which school students write an essay on a historical topic. She now studies history at university. The Kerber Stiftung encourages you to actively take part, to have a try, and it gives you the opportunity to get to know something about working academically, for instance, looking in archives. That was an important factor in my decision to study history. When we seek to address the younger generation, it's because they will be the ones to take history onwards. And that's our best guarantee against the instrumentalization of history and against populism. The writer Faisal Hamdo has a similar standpoint. Can one be an Arabian Muslim and still be open-minded, educated and tolerant? Can you come from a country where the temperature reaches 45 degrees in summer and still be truly industrious and performance driven? If someone has fled from a war zone and suffered traumatic experiences, do they necessarily have to be a ticking time bomb? His book Far From Aleppo has been published by the edition Kerber. In it, he describes his experiences as a refugee in Germany. And at the Kerber Forum, he is also an advocate of talking to one another. They're supporting this regime and also supporting this war or the continuation of this war. For him, this kind of interaction is a mission. 
It makes me very happy when people think about these things and when people come to a reading, for example, and when refugees and Germans too get to talk to each other. That makes me very happy because that's one of my aims. Everywhere in the world, people's freedom is threatened and the role of politics crucially important. Elena Langa Bratanova belongs to the Munich Young Leaders, an international younger generation network sponsored by the Kerber Stiftung as an initiative for improving global understanding in cooperation with the Munich Security Conference. Every year at this security conference, 25 Munich young leaders from all over the world of different nationalities and backgrounds come together to work on a range of topics. At one table, I was sitting together with other women from China, Israel, Palestine and South Africa. And we talked about all areas of global politics, women's rights, topics which affected us and where we wanted to bring about change, a very enriching experience. Politically, the foundation doesn't just involve young people. For decades now, the Bergedorf Roundtable has served as a highly confidential forum for our top politicians and experts. The goal of the Bergedorf Roundtable is to clarify those issues which in our society are either ignored, wrongly understood or falsely presented. The Bergedorf Roundtable is more important than ever. We are living in a totally overloaded media world, but there we have a place where people come together without cameras or microphones, simply to interact, to talk to each other, to understand one another, and in the best case to develop trust in each other, because trust is the most important currency of international politics. Whether supporting global politics or the individual citizen, the work of the Kerber Stiftung and its executive board has one aim, to encourage the kind of commitment that serves society. Our society is going through a profound transformation. We can see this when we look at issues such as migration or our aging population, and this is leading to ever-increasing social fragmentation. We're very deliberately working against this trend by encouraging people to get involved, to show some public spirit and to strengthen social cohesion. Through the program Engagierte Stadt, Jochen Boykers, with the support of the Kerber Stiftung, has created a network for more citizen involvement in Königswinter, one of 50 participating towns and cities in Germany. People who want to get involved want to take on responsibility, want to get things moving, want to help to shape our society. And that's exactly what the program Engagierte Stadt has understood. The program links up organizations and volunteer helpers for projects such as, for example, building a meeting place for local citizens. The mission is to improve the quality of community life. The aim of the foundation can be attained in many ways. The founder himself can only provide, as he says, an impulse. By providing a new impulse, I'm trying to initiate something. So if you want to call me an initiator, I'd have to say yes, I am.